let's have you share on this. This hour, we wanted to talk about should KD want to go back to Golden State. Now, I think it's unlikely and long shot and all that. But um, let me ask you first, do you think Golden State should even want Kevin Durant back? No, and I think that the NBA should step in to stop it if there was even a chance of it. I really do. I no, think it would Rob, be bad for the league. You can't be serious. I do. I'm dead you serious. Can't, they can't do I, that. I'm dead, ser- I'm dead serious. I think it would be – no, but I'm just telling you, I think it would be bad business and bad for the league if KD rejoined the Warriors. I'm just, I, I, I'm just being honest. I think it would be bad for the game. I do. Well, hold on. They, um, I mean, look, I don't think I, they, it's ran happen. Through, they ran through the finals. We know 4 0 4 1, right? But they almost got beat by Houston in the conference finals in 2018. It went seven games. If Houston doesn't, you know, Chris Paul doesn't get hurt in game six and seven, then who knows? Maybe Houston wins that series. They were up 3 2 going home. Yeah. You know? I, 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 just, I just think it would be a bad look for the league, bad for KD to return there. That's just my personal feeling looking at, you know, w- w- what they have there, what's going on. I just think that that is not the place that the, would be good for basketball. Not that for the, the Warriors league, Okay, that, that's from the that's league's what I'm perspective. About. But yeah, what about that's what I'm from the about. Warriors' perspective? No, I, I wouldn't bring them back If you're either. the I think Warriors, that, you wouldn't that, try to bring okay. No, I think that ship sailed and, you know, you, you won with them two out of three years and feel good about that. And you're on a, on a new thing and you got some young players. I just wouldn't empty the cupboard and give away all these young players that you've got and you've now developed uh, with the idea of, of KD rejoining the team. I just, I, I, I wouldn't do it. I would, um, if I was Golden State, I hear what you're saying. And I would not empty the cupboard. I wouldn't just give up whatever the Nets wanted. But I would want to bring him back. And I hear, look, there's a, you know, I like Steph. There is definitely, from my personal perspective, I'd love to see if Steph can win more rings without KD. And I'd love to see KD go somewhere or it really stay, to be honest, in Brooklyn. But, you know, try to prove he can lead his own team, right? I'm, I'm with that, personally. But if I'm Golden State, and I'm saying, look, I want to win as many championships as we can. And if we bring – we're a good team. We're the best team right now. Maybe we can win it again next year. But they're not head and shoulders above everybody else. With KD, to your point, they would be, seemingly. And so they could win. Who knows how many more rings they could win. So I got to be honest. Now, I'm with you. I would not imp- – empty the cover. I, I don't think I'd give up Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins and some of the young boys. I would try my darndest to keep Wiggins because I, I need him for his defense. But I would give up Jordan Poole and some of the other younger guys. But uh, I would do it just to try to win more. Um, but, you know, some, some callers made some other good points, though, Rob. They said, look, KD's going to be 34 when the season starts. And he's been injury prone. Lately, right? 90 games over the last three. And that's something to think about. So that's a good point to me. But let me hit you with the other question that we want to discuss in this segment. Was should KD, and I think I know your answer, should KD want to go back to Golden State? Well, I I don't think he should. But given the way that he's responded and acted, it doesn't seem like he cares about his basketball future, about how people look at him. His legacy, I, I think he's thrown that out the window. I really do. Wow. I don't think, I, I don't, I don't think people. And I said this before, Chris, and I'm gonna stand by it. Basketball wise, I think he's lost basketball respect in the community. I've talked to some former players and some people, you know, off the record, just right. in conversation, and most of them just say they shake their head at him and can't believe what he did. And and this notion that he wants to go to either gold, I mean, uh, Miami <laughs> or <laughs> yeah, either number one C. Like 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 they just said, who is this guy? Like, does he want to uh, compete? Does he? Yes, compete? It's, you got to question it, Chris. Right? You got to question it. No, you do. And and you know, KD's always saying, "I just want to hoop." And I really think Rob, because if you look at some of his statements, 
it's like he just wants to play. Um, you know, it, it almost seems like he's got this idea in his mind of kind of mastering the game. You know what I mean? W- devoid of winning. Whether you win or not is not the key. It's have you mastered the game, the jump shot, the ball handling, the passing, the reacting under pressure. Uh, and it almost feels that way. But unfortunately for KD, that's not how we look at it. That's not how you keep score, right? <laughs> so... I, to answer the question, no, I don't think KD should want to go back to Golden State. Um, someone told me today that they believe he is interested in it. He'll consider it. There are reports, Rob, there has been one report at least, that he has been in conversations with Draymond and Steph and Clay. They, ca- they called it the Warrior Stars, but that's who the Warrior Stars are. So I don't know. I mean, to your point, though, Rob, if he's considering, if, I'm not saying he is. I, I just told this. I don't know if it's true or not. If he's considering it, though, then to your point, like I do think KD has said, if he's considering it, he said, look, it can't be worse than when I went there in 2016. Um, I've already caught all this flack now. I've been exposed for having a burner account. Like, He's all, maybe he's like, man, there's nothing people can say about me that's going to bother me anymore. Or at least, yeah, you know I, what I mean? I, I disagree from this. I, I mean, you, you, you might be right, but you remember uh, Draymond Green was the one who called him the B word oh, yeah, and we exactly. won without you and all that. I mean, there's just so much there to unwrap, Chris. And when you when you pull off the skin from the uh, orange, it's going to be rotten on the inside. I just I can't well, fathom doing that and going back to a spot that even joked about it when they put up the new building. They didn't even include him in the greatest Warriors videos. Right. He wasn't even included. You're going back there. See, I wouldn't. If I'm KD, that wouldn't be my issue. Although you, that's a good point. I mean, them, for them not to put him in the the video is crazy. That's crazy, um, Chris. But I think if I was KD, my reason for not going back there. I mean, one, I'd want to, like, I'd want to go somewhere and prove I could lead my own team. And I think that's what, like you said, you've talked to former players. That's what guys want to see, right? At least you try. You that's all that's left in rings. his contract, right? In his co- career. Right. And that's the all place that's left. Stay, we know the, he's a great player. Right. We know that he won championships. We know all that. There's just one last thing to do. Right. And that was lead your team to a championship and, and win a championship in a franchise that had never won. That that speaks volumes. Speaks right. Volumes. And, and that's why I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't worry about what happened in the past. Obviously, he and Draymond have been defense mended things and they're fine but I would just like you said I would want to show that I can win it elsewhere or at least try um and I think Rob if he were to go to the Warriors and say win two or three more rings I mean look he'd get love obviously you got that many championships and we all like you said we know he's a great player it would be discounted it would well it would it would just be like he would forever be known as a second guy, even if he's the best player, because he's not the leader. He's not the culture setter. It, it's not his own team. And while people maybe could have dismissed them winning it in 2015 to some degree, right? You can't dismiss them winning it after you left. So I think he would just go down, Rob, as an all time great for sure. But, you know, as. The second guy. Like, he would be viewed as a Robin. Kind of like Scottie Pippen. Even though he's better than Pippen, Pippen is viewed as, you know, they call him the greatest Robin ever, right? To, to Michael. And I think that would be his legacy. But um, I, I don't think he'll do it. Um, but, Rob, again, is there a better place out there than Brooklyn? No, No. there is no place. I don't even get it. It doesn't make sense. It's Meshuggah. It's crazy, Chris. No, there is no better place. Nobody in the East. 
Boston made their run. Okay, we saw what happened there. Are they going back to the finals next year? I'm not convinced of that. Milwaukee won a championship. That was good. Okay. Am I convinced they're going back? Miami, right? They were in the Eastern Conference Finals. They don't again. have as much talent as Brooklyn. I just don't. And other I, I just don't yeah. see it. Right. I just don't see where they're cut off, and there's no way that they can make a run. You know what? Like, no, you, like that would be different. Right. I don't see that. Right. It, right. Nobody would be criticizing KD <sighs> if he were on a bad team. And I get. Look, Kyrie's a wild card. We know that. But he's got one year. And, and my thing, Rob, is at least give it one year. And then if it doesn't work out again, then, you know, nobody's going to – I don't think people would say anything if he wanted to move on, right? If he were 35 or soon to be 35 and, <sighs> and he said, look, I gave it a shot, right? It's just not, you know, in the cards here. I want to go – I want to <sighs> compete for a title my last few years. All right. Yeah. But, but you'd have to do that. You'd have to compete this past year first. Right. Because then at that Absolutely. point, maybe Kyrie, the wheels all the way fall right. off maybe does or something, something else happens. Crazy. Right, right, right. And then you could say, okay, this is this is ridiculous. This no, doesn't make sense. 